Hi guys, I'm back again. As you know, I don't have the best camera set up. I'm only using my phone. And today I'm going to make an alkaline soup. Uh, it's completely approved by Dr. Sabi using all the ingredients. Um, yeah, using only ingredients from his nutritional guide. And let's let's get started. Uh, let me get a knife. This is one of my high quality knives. <laughs> Not really, but that's what we'll call it. Um, what I recommend is using your favorite veggies that are on the list, the nutritional guide. What I'll do this time, because I've been having some questions about the the guide and Dr. Sabi and stuff, I will link the nutritional guide down below and Dr. Sabi's website. I will try to also link some products I used today so that you can have an easier time finding them. Anyway, yes, use your favorite in, uh, vegetables. These are the ones I like to use almost every time. Sometimes I put butternut squash in. Today I didn't feel like doing it because it's, it's a lot of cutting and it's really hard to cut. It's definitely not an easy thing to cut. Anyway, get your, knife, your pan going. Get some oil in there. Grapeseed oil, avocado oil, sesame oil, or hemp oil. Those are the four that you can cook with that are on the list. They can be heated. There is also coconut oil and olive oil on the list, but those oils can't be heated. So keep that in mind. Grapeseed oil is easy to find. So is avocado. You can find it, well, and sesame oil. You can find it uh, at Walmart easily local health food store, many other places. Get some uh, onions going. Let's see, I'm not sure which way I want to cut this one. Sorry if I'm all over the place this video. I just decided to do it last minute. And as you guys know, I'm not a professional. I just want to share with people. It's all I'm out to do. Cut your veggies how you prefer to have them in a soup. That's exactly what I'm doing with mine. I like them chunky. When I have soups, that's what I'm doing with mine. Start sauteing them. You're also going to need a bigger pot to put these in once we get them cook down a little, get some flavor going for the soup. Oops. So get them cooked up. I do recommend starting with a mushroom onion base. If you don't like mushrooms, um, maybe try a different type of mushroom. Hold on one second. We wash these off. You have a favorite kind of mushroom? If so, what is it? I'm not real particular. I just look for them to add a little flavor. I usually use a whole pack of mushroom because I'm going to make a big pot of soup, even if it's for one person, because then you'll have soup all week, or you can put it in containers and freeze it. I usually put some in the freezer for my little one. He takes it to lunch for school. If this part gets fast forwarded, then you know I learned to edit. I've been trying to find some apps on my phone see if I can play around with them. haven't found any that I can figure out yet, but I've only checked out two so far. So I have a video of something I made yesterday that I've been wanting to upload. 
but there's a gnat in the video. And I wanted to edit the gnat out because it was annoying me, but my son was like, just leave it. It's not a big deal. And you know what? It really isn't. But it was just annoying me, and I thought it was a great time to figure out how to edit. But I still couldn't figure it out. So. All right. Let me get Okay. Let's see if we can get this more in view here. Alright, get this cooking up. Let it cook. And while that's cooking, you can get your other veggies chopped up. Just let it cook until, you know, everything is nice and translucent, has some color to it. Man, I'm going to have to sweep later. I've got vegetables flying everywhere. All right. I'm going to go on a short break here. While I do that, I'm going to chop up this um, red pepper, um, a bunch of zucchini, and some tomatoes. These are all going to go in my soup, but they're not going to go in here. This is just the starter. When I come back, I'll have this transferred into a bigger pot. You're also going to need the seasonings, oregano, basil, onion powder, thyme, cayenne, and sea salt. Some more grapeseed oil and agave. See you when we get back. And I wanted to jump back on real quick because I forgot to mention, make sure the red pepper goes in here and gets sauteed with the rest of the vegetables. And I also wanted to mention something more about the seasoning. If I hadn't mentioned it already, you're also going to need thyme and two bay leaf. So that is oregano, basil, onion powder, thyme, two bay leaves, cayenne, sea salt, I think I said that already, um, agave, and grapeseed oil. When we get ready to put this with the soup pot water, you will need all those seasonings. Okay, and I will see you back in a few. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and transferred my vegetables to a different pot so I can add in the water and the rest of the vegetables to get this soup going. Now is the time I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. As you see here, we have the zucchinis and the tomatoes. Go ahead and get them in there. You can add any way you want to. You can add the water first, but I just do it this way. Nice big full pot. This pot will hold a gallon of water. It's not how much I'm going to put in, but just so you know how big my pot is. All right, now I'm going to add the water. Make sure you're using all, um, I'm sorry, make sure you're using real spring water. This is Crystal Geyser bottled at the source. I like to give it a stir to see how much room there is before I know if I want to add more water or not. There's a nice amount of room in there, but I'm going to add a little bit more water. We're going to make a big pot. That's not a gallon of water, obviously, because you have all those veggies in there, but it's definitely half. So now, we're going to turn the heat up to high, so it comes to a boil quicker, and then we'll get ready to add our seasonings. Here's what we're going to need. This may seem like a lot, but that's a very big pot of soup. We need one tablespoon of sea salt. Okay? And you can add more or less, but I recommend adding less rather than more. More is not a good idea. You don't want too much, too much sodium. Two tablespoons of oregano. And I apologize again if my video is all over the place. Please give me a like if you even made it this far. I'm curious if my videos are just, you know, terribly boring or the quality is awful. But I have things to share and I feel like I want to share them with the world. And this is the only way I know how to do it. Until I get better camera and learn how to edit more and learn what to say during a video. By the way, that what that last thing was two tablespoons of basil. This is two tablespoons of onion powder. Alright, 
All right, and time. I've got to figure out where I put my time. Hold on, oh, there it is. I got it in a little bag here. For the time, I just want one tablespoon. One tablespoon of time. Oops, I'm making a mess. All right, and the bay leaf. I need a couple of those. I like the big ones. Let's see here. I can get this open. Yeah, so I've got a lot of videos and I mean, I haven't made a lot. What I'm saying is I have a lot of videos I want to make because I have so much to share with the world. And, you know, I know how hard it was when I started eating all alkaline, according to Dr. Sabi's Nutritional Guide. It's not easy right when you get started, but when there's recipes out there that are easy and you find videos on it, it just makes it so much easier. It really, really does. This soup also is so good. I know that looks like a lot of seasonings, but trust me, it is good. It is really good. Can't forget about the cayenne. I always start with a fourth a teaspoon, even though I add more. I'm probably going to end up having at least half a teaspoon in there. This is cayenne. Again, add only what you want. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of agave. This is what kind of agave I'm using. Organic Amber Raw Blue Agave by Madheva. See that? I almost put more in there. Alright, now we're going to use one tablespoon of oil. If I can figure out where I put it there. Alright. Okay. This is some grapeseed oil. This one I got the, at the Indian market, but I also find it at Walmart, um, Vitacost.com. I'll put a link down for that below because there is a lot of approved vitamins. I mean, not vitamins, geez. There's a lot of approved foods on Vitacost that are on Dr. Sabi's plan. Nutritional guide. All right, so that is it. That's all you're going to need. If you feel like you need more of some other seasonings, um, you can check that after it gets cooking down a while. So what you're going to want to do now is bring this to a boil. And you see these leaves? Make sure you take these out when this soup is done. If you don't and you ingest them, it will cut up your insides. Do not forget. Alright, so bring this to a boil. Put a lid on it. And then let it cook for an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how tender you like your vegetables. I like them till where they fall right apart. When we're done with that, and this is nice and cooked, almost about 20 minutes before it's done, I'm going to add the pasta. And this pasta I get on Vitacost.com. This Kamut Eat an Organic Pasta, this stuff is great. It, it's only made of kamu. Let me see if I can find the ingredients for you. Let's see if we can get it to focus in here. It's only made of kamu. So, this is um, approved. They make spirals, um, spaghetti pasta. Great product. Tastes good. Like I said, bring this to a boil. Put a lid on it. Bring it to a simmer and let it simmer with a lid for about an hour to an hour and a half. And I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, we're back. The soup has come to a boil. Now we're going to add the lid, and we're going to turn the heat down to simmer. Let that simmer for about an hour to an hour and a half. If you don't like your noodles falling apart, not your noodles, but if you don't like your vegetables falling apart, check it out an hour. And if you like it then, add your pasta in, take the lid off, keep stirring, waiting for your pasta to cook. If you like it falling, the vegetables falling apart like me, let it cook for an hour and a half. Just before, 20 minutes before it reaches an hour and a half, add your pasta, 
then wait for it to cook, make sure the lid is off, and then it'll be done. And about, well, depending on how long it takes your pasta to cook. This one is 9 to 11 minutes. And um, if you're using spelt pasta, kamut pasta, or something else from the nutritional guide, just use the directions on the back of the box. Okay, see you in a few. Alright guys, the soup is just about done. Now I'm going to find my bay, um, bay leaves, take them out, and then add the noodles. Please take your time and make sure you find all of your bay leaves. It is very, very important. Yes, it may be annoying and time, cons time consuming, but it's important that you get them out. The bigger the bay leaf, the easier it is to find them. Pasta. Gonna stir. And in about 9 to 11 minutes, mine should be done. Depending on the pasta you're using, yours should be done soon too. I actually recommend this pasta because it actually is very, very good. Nice little tiny noodles. And all right. Once this is done, I'll be back, and you can see me put it in bowls for dinner tonight. All right, guys, I'm back. Our soup is done, and it's time to plate it. Hopefully, you can see in the camera here. I'm doing my best with what I have. <clears throat> it came out perfect. This will make quite a few bowls. I ended up adding just a pinch more salt, but not a lot. This will probably make, oh, maybe 10 bowls, sometimes more. needs a little bit more. There, I'm about to feed my husband and my youngest. My uh, oldest two will only eat this once in a while, but they have plans for something else. So this is for the rest of the family. I hope you enjoy this soup as much as we do. I'm going to let you go for now and go enjoy our dinner. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, Give me a like, let me know that, that people are even watching these videos to the end. Because I, I you know, I'd like to know if, if it's worth me to keep doing it and keep sharing more recipes or not. Like I said, I'm not a chef, I'm not a professional. I just make what's good, what works, um, using in, ingredients from Dr. Sabi's Nutritional Guide. Um, yeah, give me a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought of the soup, anything, let me know. Alright guys, I'll be back, I'm sure, with another video. Talk to you then.